on this video we're going to look into the difference between a ui1 as well as ui6a okay cnp community welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for everyone who has been watching the videos as well as those who have subscribed to the channel i hope it was worth your data please do share this um channel with everyone that you think might be in need of this information especially the uif matters now a ui1 is a form that you are going to get when you are um, submitting a manual application at the department of labor now a ui1 form is the form that deals with highlighting the missing documents or the documents with errors into an application if an official detects any error on your application you will be furnished with a ui1 now a ui1 will indicate when to fix these errors identified by the official it will also indicate the duration you have to fix these errors then return back to the department of labor after those errors have been um fixed okay um and then la lela you may sign this particular form more than three four times depending on what the official is still in need of from your documents or the information then um once you have been approved or your application has been approved you are going to sign a form called ui6a now that is a bank form okay do not sign until you get an approval message however if the doll official gives you this form um a ui 6a and ask you to sign after 20 days of having been made an application without a confirmation that you are being approved do not i repeat do not sign rather seek clarity and a detailed feedback because signing without approval message which a number of you have done will not only delay your application but the paymaster will cancel your cop do you know why because your cop would have violated the rules of submitting a cop on an unapproved application i know a number of you have come to the facebook page and complained that no it was an official who told me to sign please do not sign until you receive a confirmation um that your application has been approved we will continue to give you accurate information about uif answering some of the questions and queries that you have about uif as well as about your application we will continue to claim this conception that you have about uif Please do continue to follow us on our YouTube channel, join our Facebook page, as well as our TikTok. Thank you.